Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 16 Turn part of a picture into a button. The request was to do this using ActionScript 2. I'm starting a new FLA document, selecting ActionScript 2, pressing OK. On this first layer, I'm clicking on it, calling it Pick, as in Picture, and I'm opening the file, importing importing to the library. This takes some time to prepare the, the import. And I'm going to pick this from my browser, Snow. And that's put it in the library. So I'm clicking on the library and just dragging it down into my workspace. I have what's called the alignment panel docked here. If you don't have it docked here, you'll click Window and click that, and you'll get the alignment panel just as you see it now. Make sure there's a check mark and here aligning to the stage, and we're just centering this on my stage. So here horizontally centers it, and here vertically centers it. Now it didn't move because I didn't have it highlighted. So let's highlight it. There it is. Now horizontal and vertical. Good. Lock that pictures layer. I'm going to show you a very simple way of making a button for a, a picture. And it's not very accurate, but it does work. I'm going to pick a rectangle tool. Make sure I have a fill and a stroke. Doesn't matter what color they are. I'm going to insert a new layer right here. Let's call it button. B-U-T-T-O-N click on that layer make sure this picture layer is locked and I'm just going to draw a rectangle here and for this tree right here a long skinny rectangle and like I say this is going to be rough pick up the selection tool pull that corner over like that pull that corner and you can see if I get a notch here I can make something that is relatively close to being that 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 tree this is for a real rough type button Pick up your selection tool, highlight it, modify it, convert it to a symbol, make sure a button is selected, and let's just call it tree, T-R-E-E -E underscore B-T-N. That's the name we're giving it so we can write code with it. Copy that name, right click copy. Open this panel, this properties panel, and right in here where it says instance name, paste in and now we can write code for this but this button I'm going to close my property panel making sure all my layers are locked by clicking this little button here insert another layer make sure it's on top call it action script AS select that first frame open the actions panel and type 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 in this code capital T R E E underscore B T N that's that button we just made period on press small o capital P that turns blue if it's spelt right equals function F U N C T I O N that turns purple open close bracket there's an open curly bracket for the contents of my function and for this particular tutorial all I'm going to do is trace T R A C E that turns blue open bracket quotation button pressed close quotation close bracket semicolon you can write anything in here you want and it will be displayed as long as it's between the quotation marks close curly bracket so now let's just test this right quick control test movie test and there's my button naturally and up here at the output panel when I see the little hand it says button press so we know that works now I know that's not what you want makes no sense to that so click on the picture layer and put it above the button layer and now you have a spot on your picture that is active as a button and you can direct it to do anything you want and it will do it that's the first way let's keep everything we have here except the button layer so let's right click delete the button layer Let's go into the library, make sure this button is deleted. 
Just showing you a second way of doing this. The second way is very similar, but a little more, more accurate. Select your pictures layer, insert a layer, again, call it button. And this time, take your pencil tool. Make sure all the other layers are locked. Select frame one, and with your pencil tool, and you might want to make this a little bigger. Let's try 200. Yeah, that's nice in my case. Now, before we draw it, what I want to do is I want to look at the size of my, my pencil tool. So I got the pencil tool selected, open the properties panel, and see it's 0 0.1. Well, I'm going to make it like 2.5. So it's a bigger, it's a bigger stroke. So 2.5. That's good. I want that. Now, I'm going to take my pencil tool and I'm going to draw my tree. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time drawing around the tree. You may have something natural. You've got something else because your picture is going to be different. It could be a person. It could be a toy. It could be anything. But draw it, but make sure that you have a closed loop like that. Very important. And now, make sure it's filled. So, pick up any fill color. Pick up the fill bucket and fill it. Now, do the same thing. Go up, pick up your selection tool, highlight it, then do the exact same thing. Convert this into a button. So, we may as well do it. Convert into a button. And we call the tree, T R E E underscore B T N. Again, copy that name, right click copy, and open the properties panel, paste it in. And we're going to do the same thing, put the picture up top. And now when we do our test our movie, remember we already have the action code written. Test, test. And there's my button and it works. Every time I press it, it says the button's been pressed. Now, those are good. That's, those are the ones I would use. But if you want to do it one other way and then it has some, some values, Let's go in here to the library panel. Delete this button, this tree button. And put this buttons layer on above the picture layer again. Make sure all the layers are locked. Unlock the pictures layer. Select the first frame of the pictures layer. So let's go up to make sure it's selected. Pick up your selection tool. Select this. Go up to modify. Break apart click break apart. Now it's, it's all fuzzy. Pick up your pencil tool. Open the properties panel and I want to see the size of the stroke. Maybe we, and so I'm over here and I'm just making my stroke and when I do I'll see it's 2.5. That's what I want just to make sure it's still like that. I'm going to just press control Z and that'll make that disappear. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight my tree. Again, I'm not spending a lot of time. You will make sure that it is a closed loop. Pick up your selection tool, click on it, and it all becomes fuzzy. Get those crosshairs. See those crosshairs? On that fuzzy part, right click, copy. Copy that. Lock the pictures layer. Unlock the buttons layer. Select frame one, click down over here on the side, right click, paste in place. So we just paste a picture on top of a picture. So I'm going to lock all the layers and just show you. Click on this eyeball. There's the picture. So I'm going to close that off. There's my button, which is that going to be a real nice graphic. And what we're going to do now is go back to the unlock the pictures layer. Select frame one and click off to the side. Now, I want you to get on that. See how I, I get that, that arch? Click on it and I'm selecting that, that stroke. Press the delete button and there my picture is the way I want it. Let's go back to unlocking the, lock the pictures layer, unlock the buttons layer. Select that frame one. Pick up your selection tool, highlight it. You can see it's all all fuzzy there. This is not fuzzy, so that's that 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 button. Modify, 
convert it to a symbol call it tree underscore T R E E underscore B T N copy that okay open the properties panel paste it and now when we test it out test movie test you can see that my tree and it will be exactly the shape you cut is my button now I said with this third way you might find find there's something interesting so let's go back to the main timeline let's make sure we have frame one of the buttons layer selected and you can see that blue line click inside of that two clicks and that puts me inside this button and I can I know I'm inside the button because I have this special this special timeline here there's my layer and it's in the up layer I want to right click here and insert a keyframe and that brings me up to what's called the over the over um, state go over here this is called a free transform tool if you don't have it you might have to click on this corner here and select free transform and when you do you see you get this you get this set up hold the shift down and let's make this slightly bigger get that not that arch that straight double arrows and just make this a little bit bigger now click on it if if this dot stayed there you're all right but I, we, I made the button wrong and it won't so I'm just going to move it till that dot is on top of that and you can use your arrow keys to get it fairly precise so now what happens test movie test when we roll over it it gets big now you can use it that way and or I can click on this and you see that fuzzy square click on it drag it now what I have is on the down so when I actually click it test movie test so when I roll over it I just get the little the little finger indicating that there's a button here and when I click it it changes that's quite an interesting thing to do I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn